Several thousand people have gathered on Kiev's Independence Square, 40 days after the killing of dozens of protesters. During the bloodiest event since Ukraine became independent from the Soviet Union, crowds gathered to lay flowers and candles and a priest blessed the dead. I think they, the dead, are saints. They are called the Heavenly Hundred. We will be grateful to them until the end of our lives for fighting for our justice and freedom. I'm looking forward to May 25th Ukrainian elections. I'm waiting with a kind of fear and impatience. I think it will be a kind of turning point in our life. We must take it very seriously. Many of those who died were shot by snipers, with suspected ties to former President Viktor Yanukovych and his Russian allies. These shocking events led to Yanukovych fleeing into Russia, resulting in the installation of the current interim government. Local authorities pledged to remember the fallen. The city authority will take all measures to keep the deaths in people's memories. Without any doubt, after discussions with architects and according to public opinion, the decision to create a huge memorial in Kyiv will be taken. It must stay here for ages. This process has already started. Maidan is a phenomenon that will never end. Attendees of the memorial, including leading presidential candidate Petro Poroshenko, flanked by boxer-turned-politician Vitaly Klitschko. Chocolate magnate Poroshenko will be facing off against former Prime Minister Yulia Tymoshenko in the May 25th ballot. While at airports across Ukraine, some 500 classical musicians perform for passengers in tribute to the fallen protesters. At Kiev's Boryspol airport, members of the National Classical Orchestra played the Ukrainian national anthem, as well as Ode to Joy, the anthem of the European Union.